First time hiking in the snow out here. You can see the weight of everything. The weight of the snow pushed everything down, so you're gonna have to get good and wet. Feet are frozen, hands are frozen. It takes a while to get everything warmed up in the morning. So, like I've said before, it's all part of the deal. I'll make the best of it. So I was in my tent last night editing three days of film. And uh, I was all done. I went to hit the save button. And I hit the delete button. So I was pretty mad. Um, I deleted some good footage with uh, some trail magic. Um, if you check out Bigfoot on the Appalachian, uh, Bigfoot is the name of the hiker. He had some trail magic set up. He's got some videos of it, so you can check that out there. It was the uh, day before yesterday, I think it was. Um, and then there was a nice gentleman that gave me a, a ride out of Helen the other day. I wanted to get him on there so he could say hi to his family, but all gone. One touch of a button. That's what you get for being cramped in a tent and cold and trying to do something that requires dexterity. But, oh well, so we'll pick it up with today's, uh, today's uh, video. How uh, you have, yeah, bleh, but lips are cold too. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good day. Take care. All right, we got Pace and Wasabi up here. I just caught him uh, checking out the scenery, which is absolutely gorgeous. Just a wall of white. Want to say anything to anybody, guys? So beautiful. Hi, Mom. Today's a good day. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful Isn't it great? Day. It's beautiful awesome. Day. What what day is bad, right? <laughs> Beginning of day nine. Got quite a bit of snowfall. A few inches. The tent. I knocked most of the snow off of it already. But it's, it's quite beautiful here. I'm surrounded by rhododendron. So it's going to be a slippery trip today. There's a lot of places on the Appalachian Trail that are covered in mountain laurel or uh, rhododendrons like this. And it's usually referred to as the Green Tunnel. But today, it is the White Tunnel. Just amazingly beautiful. Amazing. It's just so great to be out here. Just look at this. And it's really not too hard to walk on them. There's a few slippery spots because you can't see what you're stepping on. So you step on a rock and you slide to the side or whatever. But now, by now our ankles are used to it so we're able to handle that. But it's just gorgeous. So I just thought I'd share a second of the beauty with you. Love the daytimes. Night times, they're tough. But the daytimes would just make it all worthwhile. One step away from the white abyss. You can't see anything out there. That's cool. It's a narrow little ledge covered with snow. And you gotta watch where you're going. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> this is cool. So cool. Very top of Albert Mountain climbing up it. This is no joke. This, the snow makes it more interesting, of course, but you can see how tough it is up there. So young folks doing it, wait till I do it. And this is uh this will bring us up over 5,200 feet. We made it to the top of Albert Mountain, and we don't even have a view. 5,213 feet, I believe it is. You look at the board, you can see what it looks like. That's what I'm hoping. Already, my legs already feel better. Forgot to mention this is the 100 mile mark at the top of this mountain. That's 100 miles from Springer Mountain. Another eight to the approach. Don't know how much you can see, but it is so gorgeous out in the distance out there. It's like two rows of mountains. Beautiful stuff. Wow.